finally, finally, look at this. It is a beautiful day out here. I did not get in any of the pools. I'm okay with that. I don't, you know what? I don't want to go look at the water slide because if it's open, that's going to cause conflict because, oh, a pot, a plant overturned. <laughs> okay. Uh, no worries, no worries. All right. Um, I was going to say something else that was important. Oh, colored hair. That's right, colored hair. The background music, Margaritaville, you got it. Okay, but well, I'm on the pool deck. I'll, I'll shut up now. The lookout bar has been closed except for embarkation day, but I guess they just broke these out. I have not seen this before. I like it. I like it a lot. We're here. We're finally here. All right. Welcome, newcomers. Loyal members of the court know I don't do ship tours or anything like that. There's way better videos in like 12K or whatever you want. I'm finally at the Land Shark Lookout up here on technically, I guess, deck 11. And that's, that's the steakhouse over there. It has been either closed or non-operational since we left Tampa, but I guess the weather has improved enough to where, well, here we are. So it's nice. I presume there would be bar service up here on a, a nice day. Not right now. They're kind of closing up because it is the end of the day. And just looking around. Okay, nice place. I do notice there are no cameras. Not that I noticed those things. Anyway, all right. You know what? Let's go check out the pickleball court. Fun fact, I do not see a jogging or running course. I cannot tell if this has been repainted. It looks not that old, but not brand new. Hmm, weird. Either way, oh, you know what? Yes, we're gonna go. Well, here we are. They have put this top to use. So I am, I'm, I presume the headquarters folks are glad they bought this model. This is the upstairs at JWB, not set up for production. They're just using it as a staging and setup area. And I don't know, I think I was misled. Seems to be a bunch of, oh, wait, there's a bar. Do they have, all right, let's go check it out. But after, after the pickleball court. And no, the water slide is not staffed. Dang it. This is an interesting little kids area. I, well, I've never been up here other than yesterday for the water slide. So I don't know how well used this is, but you can imagine all the kids running around playing and then causing all the noise in the buffet, which is down there. Oh, and there I am. Yes, I am wearing swim trunks. Well, here we are with the slide complex. Who knows? I don't know if it opens at all today. And I don't know if it was because of the wind or other reasons, but Margaritaville, yeah, if you're gonna, if the clock is not going to work, it needs to be stuck at five o'clock. So just, you know, pro tip. Yes, it is, it is, oh boy, it is bright up here. Oh boy. And if anyone is wondering why, yes, this, that is why. There you go. There's a reason for everything. Well, not really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they wouldn't miss five of those, would they? Should I? Oh, there's another. See, there's another one. There's plenty. They have absolutely more than enough to go around. Now, where would I stuff them? Don't ask. I know exactly where I'm going to take you now, but we're going to have to descend the very scary stairs. This is... This is actually scarier than the Bridge of Size on the Seaside class or the the plexiglass floors in the the Tokyo Tower? No. Where was that? No. In Shanghai, the 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 round balls. You know, the ones that you Okay, anyway, since we're here, let's check out the buffet spread. All right, the salad station appears to be pretty consistent, which oh, a different kind of cheese. Okay. I'll, I, I acknowledge that, okay. Rice, coconut rice, nice. And uh, fusilli, potatoes, green beans, and this is stuffed portobello, all right. And that is piscato frito, all right. And here we have huli huli chicken. I don't know what that is, but this is the Jalisco style braised pork. I mentioned a Central American favorite. Okay, well, um, okay, I would give this a try. 
maybe the Huli Chicken, but I do have my credit to use at the Island Grill. All right, so, oh, but you know what? The lobster roll is $18, and I only have $25. Oh, you know what? Okay, if I was the kind of person who would complain, they would probably remove it because I'm not. Should I? And just to be clear, I have absolutely not advocated that anybody break the rules. Just ignore them. So I try to keep it casual. I did take a 10 minute nap earlier, but that just means I end up late for trivia. And yes, I just realized again, they don't do the whistle. It's not that hard, just... Okay, next time, I expect, I expect the whistle at five o'clock. Tip, Margaritaville. On the elevator, it says the Fins Up Fitness Center is on four, but this is 100% a case of you can't get there from here. It's, it's not even here. You have to access it from five or three. So, change the elevator. Or move to the fitness center. I've seen presentations like this at various places in the ship. Never really looked at it, but now I'm looking. It says, this artwork is available for purchase. Okay. They have art, and it's very low key. You know what? Okay. We'll, we'll allow it until we see how it goes. But more important, for the loyalist members of the court, and when I say loyal members of the court, I do mean that. I expect your undying devotion. And don't worry, I will not send your sons and daughters off to war. <laughs> anyway, we are off to the fitness center so I can hopefully show you the spectacular fail that is the Margaritaville at Sea Island Fitness Center on the inaugural sailing. Hopefully there's no guests in there because that would be weird and I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to end up on TikTok. The door is open. Here we are. All right. They have all this echelon equipment. Don't know if this is super premium. I'm not going to do any research, but they have the rowing machines, which do work. I have seen guests using these. Then they have these gizmos, which apparently require Wi-Fi to work and they cannot connect. And even if they do, it doesn't matter because if you touch on quick start, well, no, there's no quick start to touch. So these things, however much they paid for them, are completely useless, <laughs> right? Number of treadmills, also echelon. Again, I don't know if this is a partnership or anything like that, but these work. I have seen guests using these and these cycles. Yes, these also work. I've seen guests using these, but uh, sadly, sadly, the actual weight equipment is, yes, okay. I will put money, like real actual money, like $50 or whatever, that they arrived in Fort Lauderdale, realized they had nothing, sent someone to Dick's Sporting Goods to buy whatever they thought would work out. And this is what we have, right? Three benches, a flat bench, a drop bench, an adjustable bench, which does not adjust. Okay, this does not work. I tried several times. It's stuck in place, so either it was assembled incorrectly or <laughs> yeah, whatever. And that is it for the free weights. And, but that is me. Okay, just don't lie, tell me. Am I fat? The only answer is yes. Either way, 25 pounds is the maximum. So that is what I have been dealing with and other guests have commented on this. And well, this is pretty, okay, that's it. This is the fitness center here on Margaritaville at Sea Paradise. Oh, they do have a couple of uh, um, not yoga, but they have yoga mats. Are those yoga balls? I don't know, I've never really, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> it is decorated. They did do that. So there's the decals on the mirrors and the windows. But yeah, yeah. And I'm not the only one who has noticed the oversight. Oh, by the way, there is apparently no fitness staff either. They're never here or they're up in the spa, which why would they be up in the spa when the 
yeah. So here you go. You know what? I was talking to a guest yesterday or the day before, and she had a very good point. She said, if you know how to work out, you can make do with what's available, which is exactly what I did. I feel bad though, Margaritaville, for commandeering the 25 pound weights for my entire session. So maybe spend the extra 100 bucks and get two of those things until the real stuff arrives. I don't know. It's fine. You know what? We may do. So, whoa, when they come back, the, the fancy machines, they better be working.